here we back again. Here's here, here's your Jose. Um, we talk about GameStop today. A lot of things have happened this week. GameStop. We're gonna go a little bit over what's going on and why it's happening. Um, so we're gonna start off with today. Closed off at when it hit a low of thirty eight dollars, and all the way f f it went up. It popped up forty eight dollars to forty two dollars and eighty eight cents. And I don't tell you why right now. Cause some news came out uh, during the after hours, and that was the um that's why. But see, since um Friday, Monday, you know, there was on holiday, so there was some all the way from basically Tuesday, the uh, Congress hearing, it went down, and killed GameStop, but it popped up. So basically, um, we had a we had a um. A Congress hearing this week with um Keith, and it was and he was talking about very bullish about his um position in GameStop. Basically, what he said is that he is bullish on on the stock, and this is what he actually is, is direct from the quote: "The market was under uh, underestimating the prospect of GameStop legacy businesses and overstating the prospect of bankruptcy pro prospect bankruptcy. GameStop stores will provide real value to customers and real revenue for GameStop." That's his thesis, and also he went into into more details. I believe that GameStop has the potential to reinvent itself as an ultimate destination for gamers within rapidly a 200 billion game industry, and has a unique opportunity to pivot with a driven business by embracing digital econo uh, econ economic economic GameStop may be able to find new revenue streams by vastly exceed the value of business of business and hardly the only person to advocate these points. Meaning that all these um games now are online. So, you know, brick and mortar store, uh, stores are not very um, lucrative, you could say, now that it's gone online. But still, he thinks there is value and that, that transformation into digital will actually give, will give that boost of, of value to the stock. And he also went and talked about a little bit more why he picked it. It, it doesn't go into here, but when I was, I was in here and when I was listening to, the, uh, to his um, testimony, that's what he was saying. So... And today, what he did is he actually put up his position and he doubled down. I know it's kind of blurry here, but basically he doubled down his position. He went a hundred thousand shares on it, and it and cost basis price paid at twenty six dollars. You could say here it's kind of blurry, but basically that's this is his cost. So and and he has a uh he has a call he, yeah he has a call uh of April sixteen of twenty nine. Uh, yep, of $29.93. So he has a call of 500, 500 calls out there. Uh, so basically, he has doubled down his position from the beginning. It was 50,000. And this is that basically came out today. And what happened with this news is actually it popped up the, um, the stock, right? Because that happened after the, um, the, when it closed and boom, it popped out. So meaning that people are buying because of that news. And, and he's basically what he said in, the his, his testimony, he's backing it up with, with um with with his purchases of the stock of doubling it down, and he did it right after the um the, the market closed. So there was no manipulation, no nothing going on. He just basically went straight forward, and you know he has confidence in the stock and he has confidence in in GameStop. So that could push his stock up to fifty dollars and above, uh, because of that position that he grows and all the credit um viewers that are seeing the same thing so i i expect this going up next week because of that news after um when the market closed basically it happened right like literally like right here like at three like well like 120 like around there so and it popped up so i think it's going to go to 50 dollars. so this week we, we could trade it and a lot of a lot of volume came in basically it came from 1000 to 30,000, see 15,000. so it was it, it was volume after hours so we could see that there is there was there was there was volume here, probably like twenty thousand shares exchange here, you could say, roughly a bunch of about. So yeah, so I think this this stock is gonna be popping next um next next um on um, next trading day that we Monday. So let's take a look. If you have any questions any or any um type of comments, go ahead and leave, leave it above and also subscribe to the channel and I will go ahead and Next up, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about LPP. It's this stock I really like, and I have I have made real money. I, right now, I don't have any, but.
but I do have, I'm going to put some, so I'm going to next, uh, this is the next uh, point that I'm going to talk. And just to let you know, this is for entertainment purposes. I do not own any, any stock, uh, any game, any shares in, in game stock. If I see some opportunity next time, I will, but not now. I just, if you do your due diligence and be careful out there. Thanks.